Our next test is going to be the catalase test. And for this one, we have our slides out. This one here is E. coli. So we're going to start with some E. coli. And we're going to take our TSA slant, remove some bacteria. Put our bacteria right there. And for this, I'm actually going to lower you guys a bit. We're then going to use aseptic technique to do the same thing for our citrobacter. And we're going to do the same thing for our Proteus. Now, let's take a look at our control. And we need hydrogen peroxide. Nothing happens. As is expected for our control. Now, why does this test matter? This test matters because the catalase test tests whether or not uh, there's the presence of catalase itself and catalase activity is a rather useful tool for differentiating bacteria mostly because of the way some things look let's take a look at enterococcus versus staphylococcus they look very similar but one is uh, catalase positive in the case of enterococcus uh, excuse me staphylococcus is catalase positive while enterococcus is catalase negative these different activities mean that it's a way of differentiating out bacteria. So let's pull out, this is now our Proteus vulgaris. Ah, there we go. It's hard to see on your end because you're zoomed in. But that white area that you see are bubbles. This is a positive test. Compare that to the area next to it where we don't have it's just plain that white area is bubbles that is the indication of a positive test now here's our citrobacter it's still positive just not as strong and E. coli. Same as the other one. Positive, but not a very strong positive. 